All right, so, so far we have done um, a lot of technical exercises, looking at how to draw the hand, looking at how to digitally um, get an image up on preparing to digitally paint it. And then we've looked at sort of like how to, the colors of the hand and how to look at skin. Let's look at some artist's work and see how um, some artists, just a few, have represented hands um, in their work. So, um, I don't know, I just thought this was kind of a, a, a cool quote, is the hand is the tool of tools. And I really think hands are, even though they're the most difficult to draw, you know, there can be a lot of meaning about uh, with hands. So let's look at um, way, way back, tens of thousands of years ago. And this is kind of cool, this is, um, some of the early cave paintings in France. So these are prehistoric peoples. So before there was like a written language or a spoken language, human beings for some reason had to, they were compelled to put images on the cave walls. And this, you know, my graffiti background, but this is kind of like the first instance of spray paint. So um, for some reason, the prehistoric people actually had their handprints and they put their hands up on the cave wall and then they chewed up natural materials like um, clay or dirt or um, and they actually chewed it up and they put it in a reed and they spit it out like a tube almost like a spray paint can and they splattered um, the paint all the way around the hands and it's even cool how they've sort of like overlapped them and um, but even just the hands to say I am human and and I was here, which is, is pr pretty neat when you think about the images of hands and communication and how long and how far back it goes. So you might know this guy. He's not a Ninja Turtle. It's Michelangelo. But um, so this is a Renaissance painting. And this is an image of um, try to depict something from the Bible. So the idea is that it is God's hand um, touching, almost touching Adam's hand sort of to give him life. Now in early in and Jewish and early Christian artists, they didn't represent an image of God in any of their works. So if they were going to depict um, God in any way, they would express it through you know, God's actions or his influence or his voice. But quite often it would just be the hand of God. And that's how they um, represented that. So the idea of how expressive that hand of almost touching um, Adam's hand to give him life. So that's a really powerful way that in the Renaissance, the hands were used. So um, again, art, like artists can use hands to be really expressive, but the whole idea of emotions and identities and conflict and collaboration. Here's another artist. His name is MC Escher. You might've seen some of his stuff, but, you know, as an artist, he sort of is well he did a lot of sort of mathematical sort of art too um but he's talking about so the how the artist's hands create art you know which is created by the hand that sort of continuous repeating pattern of of art and creation and the way that he uses hands and it's kind of cool how he's got like it's half realistic but then you know half in the stages of becoming this is another cool artist diego rivera is looking at sort of the hands um, as a surgeon and a tool and not just um, looking at sort of a medical thing, but also actually how tools can be used like in nature. Um, so the hand is actually cutting this tree. It's a surgeon's tool, but also if you look closely at the tree, the tree is like because um, of the shape of, of a woman, like a female body. So talking about and we can think about it in today's terms too, but a surgeon who creates or they modify things or they destroy things. So again, this is sort of a, a metaphor for some of those ideas. Henry Moore, I don't know if any of you got a chance to see some of Henry, Henry Moore's sculptures at the Art Gallery of Ontario. So he's the one that did these great big, huge, they look like carvings out of bone. But he did a whole series of drawings throughout his whole life to record sort of the aging process. Instead of looking at like recording his face and how his face changed um, throughout the years, he actually did a series of drawings at his hands. Um, now, in the 80s, when he was in his in his 80s, he was um, he was ill. Um, and so that's when he really started recording his hands quite a bit. And you can almost feel sort of like 
not only the wrinkle, see the wrinkles and everything in his hands, but even the position of them. And they look like they're aching and they're sore. And this is his livelihood. And this is like, you know, how he's, his whole career is, you know, through these hands. So it's a way that he's expressing, you know, going through the aging process just through his hands. This one's kind of cool too. So this is a sculpture, but this is um, Louise Bourgeois. And this is a sculpture, but she's talking about the idea of um, giving and receiving and that cyclical nature of that just through these sculptures, having those two hands and, and one going in there. Um, now, if you want to kind of go more conceptual, as opposed to sort of the, the, the metaphors that we've sort of looked at, um, this is a really cool idea too. So, I mean, we can use not just drawing and not just painting and not just sculpture and traditional things, but of course, if we're doing digital art and you can put like photos and things like that in as well. But he sort of is talking about um, the idea, well, he's putting the eyes inside of the hand and, and that sort of connection, right? Where you have a vision and, and how the vision, it sort of comes out you know, some envision through your, you know, your eyes and in your brain, but it comes out through your hands. And he's talking about different tools, right? The sort of the pencil represents the more traditional way of creating. And of course, he's got that USB drive, which is probably a little outdated now, but just how also you can create it that way. So, um, so it's the idea that the hand um, creates, and as well, the hand sort of protects things and thing and it, and it. Um, it can do traditional stuff, but it's also creator and sort of in the new sort of environment of digital art. So there are just a few examples how uh, artists